You're terrible at this. I don't need no damn makeup. Does Bob Lee use makeup? <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, sir. <laughs> it's still sensual. <laughs> Starting to get into this. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth are fine. Practice squad week five. Hello Cowboys fans, I bet you're feeling a little blue after that 2-3 and three start. You're probably coping with feelings of depression and anxiety, but don't worry, that's why I'm here, the untrained Dr. Fox. Today I'm joined by America's favorite Cowboys fan, Justin Tinsley. So what brings you here today, Justin? You want to know? Glad you asked. The Dallas Cowboys are the source of my rage, and they have been for the past 20 years. 20 years? Yeah, 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 since the last beat the Steelers in the Super Bowl. This doesn't seem like a healthy relationship. No, nothing about the Dallas Cowboys is healthy. So Aaron Rodgers, oh. he seems to be a nemesis for the Cowboys in Dallas. What do you feel about do, that? Do, do we have to talk about this right now? I think this is part important to your growth. Look, there's no growth when we play Aaron Rodgers. We can't beat the guy. You know what, I'm, not, I'm gonna refrain from using we when speaking about the Dallas Cowboys. I don't have a number. I don't have a number. So you're no longer a part of the team? You know what, I'm, I think we're on a uh, extended separation. I think we're on an extended separation. I, look, I don't know why we gotta play the Packers every year. It's, it's, we're not even, we're not in the NFC North. Again, I'm saying we, I can't believe I'm doing it again. See, this is like Stockholm Syndrome. So, this feels a lot like last season? This feels a lot like the last 20 years. Aaron Rodgers is just the latest one to drive the knife in my back. So. Speaking of the Cowboys, let's talk a little bit about the owner of the team. Who? Jerry Who? Jones. Who? I don't, I don't, I don't know no Jerry. I don't know no Jerry. As, as a fan of the Dallas Cowboys, mm -hmm. are you comfortable with Jerry Jones' requested of his players? Hell no. <laughs> let's stop there, because I don't want anybody to lose their job. Mm-hmm. And I'll leave it at that. When I say they, I'm just going to say the organization. I'm not going to pinpoint this on just one person. Yes, I will. But <laughs> they are making it very, very hard to want to tune in and watch them every Sunday. Just from, you know, frustrations on the field and the extracurriculars afterwards. How many losses did you guys have last season? Including the playoffs? Nah, we'll leave that out. Uh, three. How many you got now? One less than four. Are you concerned about the future of this team? Do you think you're going to make the playoffs? What about the Eagles? Washington's pretty good this year. You're better than the Giants. You got that going for you? We're going to print out some t-shirts for you. It says we're better than the Giants. Yeah? Huh? Love don't live here no more, man. <laughs> love, love don't live here no more with the Cowboys, man. Seriously. Okay. I can't exercise my con... Let's go to commercial. All right, new segment for you. It's called a hundred. I got a hundred seconds to keep it a hundred. Mo, what's the first topic? Donald Penn. Oh, yes. Yeah, so over the weekend, some ridiculous Raiders fan decided it was a good idea to provoke Donald Penn. He's enormous. So that is definitely not a good idea. Like, what's the best possible outcome? You think that because you yelled at Donald Penn, he's all of a sudden going to play better and they're going to win more? No, it's terrible. And unnamed Raider fan, let me tell you a little something about those people around you that you think are your friends. They are your friends to a limit. Friendship ha has its limits, and it's about 360 pounds and 6'5". That is where friendship ends, because if he jumped on you, they're not gonna help him out. That's the end of that. And the irony in this whole situation is if Donald Penn finished the job that he was starting, you might be the only one wearing a helmet. You think they could get a Raiders decal on that helmet? Mm, I don't know. Coach! Yeah, I don't know. That's just, I don't wanna make fun of him. It's unfortunate, he obviously has a problem, but I have a job to do, so I have to do it. Um, I've never ever seen anybody snorting anything and that be a good thing. Like that's the universal sign for I have a problem. You go to the doctor's office and they say, hey, we might have to give you a shot. Like I've seen that before. Or hey, you might have to drink some of this medicine or take these pills. Not once have I ever heard a doctor say, snort two of these and call me in the morning. So sir, you have a real problem and I'm not gonna laugh at you that much. What's Pence. next? Oh, my man Mike Pence. So he went to a game only to be seen leaving and it cost him almost $240,000, maybe more. 
You know any other times when people pay a bunch of money to be seen leaving somewhere? I can give you one. Here's a flashback to Mike Pence at his ex-girlfriend's wedding. Does anyone object to this perfect union? Ahem! 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 I'm Mike Pence, everyone see me leave.